Happy New Year, Whispers and Fringes. It's Joyce. And today's the first time I'm actually posting a video onto our Facebook page. So I hope you'll bear with me as I'm a little nerve sighted, but I hope that the word that I share with you encourages you today for 2018. I'm sure by now that each of us have come up with a plan of the things that we would like to accomplish or achieve in this new year. But the question that I have for each of us is, what are we going to do with this plan? Because I don't know about you, but at the beginning of the year, I'm usually really excited as I think about all the things that I hope to do and change and do differently. And so for those first few weeks, maybe if I'm even lucky, those first few months, I'm really enthusiastic about following through with those things. But then I don't know. Before you know it, it just gets a little busy and maybe I'm not as intentional and maybe I forget. And uh, by mid-year, I don't even really remember oftentimes what I was so excited to do at the beginning of the year. So a few years ago, God really inspired me from his word, Habakkuk 2.2, to write the vision and make it plain. In other words, it's not enough to just talk about this plan. I have to go ahead and write this plan down. And it's not anything that has to be fancy or complicated. The first time my husband and I sat down to talk about what we wanted the new year to look like for our family, we literally had a sheet of paper and pen and we just made a list and we just jotted down all the things that we felt that God was leading us to accomplish in the new year. And Maybe you want to get a little bit more creative and create something like a vision board. That's something that we here at Whispers and Fringes have done together as a group. It's a lot of fun to be able to go through magazines and clip out words and pictures and then put them onto a board that you feel really reflect what you hope to accomplish in the new year. And sometimes it can really be as simple and basic as maybe a word, one word that God has given you for the new year. For example, one year, we just felt the word God gave us was discipline. We wrote it on a sheet of paper and we posted it on our wall. And what's so great about being able to write this vision down and make it plain is that it's in black and white and we post it where we can see it every single day of the year. So even if our lives, quote, get busy, end quote, uh, it's there for us in plain view to be able to see and to be reminded of the things that we had set out to accomplish for the year and to be able to submit to God once again to say, Lord, I felt like this is what you wanted me to do at the beginning of the year. Would you please help me in accomplishing these things? And so... I just pray that God would lead you to go ahead and write your plan down so that you can have a clear guide for the entire 2018. And my prayer for each of us is that whatever it is that we put our hands to in 2018, that we would see those things being accomplished and achieved. God bless you, friends.